Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back on the beach today, but it was a bit of disaster regarding the filming. Um, a lot of my, there's two hunts here, but a lot of the footage on the first one, I got um, like sloppy mud on my camera lens, so it just distorted the footage. So uh, there is some footage, I'll put that on. And then the second one, it was like hard pack uh, sand and you just could not dig through it and there were bit little bits of copper and brass and everything everywhere and you know you, I just could not do life digs because it was iron infested as well so I, I, was, I was just doing my best to pick out the targets really but I'll start off with the uh, footage I've got on the beach and then I'll come back here and show you the roundup for both hunts. All right, guys. All right, my first signal of the day coming at 19. And I've just had a half penny, Edward the Seventh. All right, next signal. I've got a little love out there, but I can see the copper coming through, so it was just gold plated that, but a bit of bling. But, oh, this is stripped down to the uh, Victorian layer. So, should do all right today on here. Getting a broken signal here. But the eye tone is coming through, so I'm going to have a look. It's another deep one. Sounding better now. Should I have it in this one? Get the pointer on it. Yeah, it's a big penny by the looks. Nineteen oh seven, that'll be George the Fifth. No Edward the Seventh. My next signal, I've just got another one of them um, jockey head things up. You see me find these in my other videos. But sadly, uh, I've gone and snapped my sand scoop on the poles um, just here and there. So I've got to be very careful, I need to get them welded. Alright, another signal, well, another dodgy signal. Definitely a load of iron in with it, but I was getting a bit of a tone. I think it's just another penny. Yeah, just another big penny. 1898 or something. That's a Queen Victoria veil head. Yeah, it's literally uh, near to impossible to do any life digs on here because the ground's really hard packed, really hard to dig and there's just iron everywhere so, you know, I'm just digging digging stuff out that sounds alright and hoping for the best really but I've just had this ring up I don't know what metal it is but it is crudded it's been here a long time, it's got it's like a snake ring so I wouldn't have thought it's just brass but I don't know could be silver I'd, I'll have to have a proper look but it's another ring is that another really dodgy signal just down there and loads of iron in with it but I've just got a George the Six shilling Ooh. 
19, I think it says 1945. So yeah, stuff's coming up in this area. So we'll just keep at it. It's not been finding much really in between all this iron, but I've just had a signal of 1314. I've just had this uh, lead figure up. Right, I was getting a solid 26 on this one. It could just be two pence. But it's got a nice tone to it. Yeah, it's just a bloody modern penny. All right, we've had a good go over there and all we're getting is really deep high conductors. So I've just moved over here to the groin. Uh, got a signal of 18 and I've got a ring up. I think it's just a junker. But yeah, I've had a good few pennies and half pennies and that, but I'm going to have a little go around this groin, I think. I've had a few targets of lead in that, but I'm actually on this bit. I'm out with our ash. Um, but yeah, I'm just going along few bits of lead up and then I just uh, spotted this glaring in the sun but my machine didn't even pick it up uh, I think it's a bit of gold possibly like a bracelet don't know it looks looks gold to me but yeah I run it across my machine and it's, it's not really giving a signal. It's, sounds more like a bit of iron, but it'll be the shape of it and how thin it is. But yeah, I think that is a bit of gold, but I'll test that when I get home. All right, guys, this is the roundup for the first stunt. Uh, like I say, there wasn't much uh, footage on the beach because uh, I lost a lot of the footage due to getting the mud on the lens and it was just all blurred out. So, um, But yeah, I did okay on the first one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight big pennies, four half pennies, and they're a mixture of Edward the Seventh, uh, George the Fifth. Elizabeth II, Queen Victoria. Uh, some of them are in re really good condition. I've cleaned them up, obviously. Um, but yeah, some good quality coins come up off there. Um, got a couple of shillings here. I did have a little sixpence. Uh, when I was cleaning them up, but I don't know what I've done with it. Um, I had this ring, but unfortunately, it's just a junker. Um, I had this lead uh, soldier figure thing, which I like finding stuff like that. Um, few modern pennies and two pence. So that was the yump for the first on. And like I say, the, the second one, um, the, this is the trash target. It's all bits of copper and brass and, and it was just impossible to do any life digs on it. Um, but yeah, um, I had another one of them. Whoops, I've dropped it, but you see it anyway. I'll find that in a minute. But yeah, I had another one of them jockey head things i've got five of them on there so i've got another one for my collection um it's a coin i reckon maybe a big penny in that an old wheel off a toy a bit of top bit of a purse um i had this snake ring i'm not sure what metal it is 
and then hide that ring and another ring but they are junkers it's hard to tell when you find them when they first come up you know they look dead shiny and they look a bit like old gold so you know uh, then I got this little love art same again that's just um, gold plated uh, a couple of old coins but they're not worth cleaning um, then the half a bracelet thing I had I was pretty sure it was gold uh, on the beach anyway I got it back and it had like a, a iron steel rod thing like that for a wet and it stick that sticks to a magnet so that was to give it strength like anyway I tested it with the nine carat so I just pulled that bar thing out of it so yeah I tested it with nine carat and it passed the nine carat test so it was a minimum of nine carat um, and that's what I've done is uh, melted it with my other bit of gold I found on the beach and eventually I'll make some jewellery like something like that out of it so yeah but it was hard going on that bit alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, we're getting out on some pasture hopefully uh, towards the end of this week uh, so if we find some stuff on there I'll upload that as well alright guys thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one